Imperial learning. First question. Do all flowers have same paths? Classify the flowers according to the paths of flower present in them and give examples. Answer. All flowers do not have the same paths. The stamens are the male reproductive part and the pistil is the female reproductive part. The flowers which contain either only one pistil or only the stamens are called unisexual flowers. Example, corn, papaya, cucumber, etc. The flowers which contain both stamens and pistil are called bisexual flowers. Example, mustard, rose, petunia, etc. A flower that has four or more whorls is called a complete flower. Example, datura, ipomia, hibiscus, etc. A flower in which any of these four worlds is missing is an incomplete flower. Example, cucumber, bottle guard, papaya. Next one. Differentiate between bisexual flowers, unisexual flowers, complete flower, incomplete flower, male flower, female flower. First one, bisexual flowers and unisexual flowers. Bisexual flower, a flower that has both stamens and pistil is called bisexual flower. Datura, hibiscus, ipomia, etc. Unisexual flowers, a flower which has either stamens or pistil is called unisexual flower. Example, cucumber, bottle guard, bitter guard, etc. Next, B bit. Complete flower, incomplete flowers. A flower that has four or more worlds is called a complete flower. Example, datura, ipomia, hibiscus, etc. Incomplete flowers. A flower which has either stamen, stamens or pistil is called unisexual flower. Cucumber, bottle guard, bitter guard, etc. Next, see bit male flower. They only have stamens, they do not have pistil. Female flower. They only have pistil, they do not have stamens. Third one. What happens when a pollen grain falls on a stigma? Answer. When a pollen grain falls on a stigma, the pollen grain germinates and a pollen tube comes out. The pollen tube grows and approaches through the style to ovary carrying male gametes with it where it enters the ovule. Inside the ovule, there is a female gamete or egg. The male gamete fuses with the female gamete. This process is called fertilization. Next, fourth one. What helps to bring pollen grains to the stigma? Agencies like water, wind, air, animals, humans and insects help to bring pollen grains to the stigma. Fifth one, explain the method of sexual reproduction in plants. Sexual reproduction in plants. New plants are obtained from seeds. Two parents are required to produce an individual. Takes place with the help of specialized sex cells. New individual has the characters of both the parents next sixth one can plants produce new plants even without seeds explain the methods with examples plants can give rise to new plants without seeds the new individual comes from a single parent no sex cells are required characters of new individual are same as that of only parent a potato has a number of small depressions on its surface. These are called these are called eyes. 
Cut the potato into pieces such that there is an eye in each piece. If it is put in a cup containing soil and water, we find potato plants sprout. We find baby plants on the edge of the leaves of the plant. Bryphylum. We find baby plants on the edge of the leaves of the plant bryophyllum. We grow plants like rose, hibiscus and jasmine by cutting a small branch and planting them in the soil. Next, seventh one, draw the diagram of any flower showing the paths, showing its paths. So this you can draw from your book. Okay, floral paths, you mentioned the paths also. Okay, next Eighth one, write the differences between sexual and asexual reproduction. Differences between sexual and asexual reproduction. Sexual reproduction, asexual reproduction. First point, production of baby plants or offsprings from the zygote is called sexual reproduction. Reproduction of plants from all such parts other than the flower that is without zygote is called asexual reproduction. New plants are obtained from seeds. Plants can give rise to new plants without seeds. New individual has characters of both the parents. Characters of the new individual are same as that of the only parent. Most of the plants like cucumber, neem, mango etc. Potato, bryophyllum, sugarcane, etc. Ninth one, do all plants reproduce in the same way? Explain with examples. All plants do not reproduce in the same way. Given below the plants and their paths which can reproduce. Vegetative reproduction in some plants. Plant and part of the plant. Sweet potato. Dahlia, carrot, turnip, radish. New plants grow from the modified root. Potato. New plants grow from eyes in the tuber, which is a modified stem. Onion, garlic, tuberose, lilies, gladioli. New plants grow from bulbs or cones. Gladioli, which are modified stems. Bryophyllum, sprout leaf plant. Begonia, sugarcane. New plants grow from buds on the leaf. Stem grows roots at the nodes. Mint, strawberry, chrysanthemum, raspberry. Stem creeps along the ground and strikes roots at the nodes. Next tenth one, Karthik saw a cucumber plant in the kitchen garden. He identified two types of flowers. Some flowers had a small swollen structure behind them, while some did not. He removed all the flowers which did not have the swollen structure behind them, thinking that they were of no use. Which flowers did he remove? Which flowers have swollen Parts. Answer. Karthik removed all the male flowers which did not have swollen structures. He felt that these flowers were of no use. Female flowers had a small swollen structure behind them. Next, eleventh one. What are the agents of pollination? A. Water animals, insects, humans, etc. act as agents of pollination. Next twelfth one, differentiate between self-pollination and cross-pollination. Self-pollination, cross-pollination. Under self-pollination, first point, in self-pollination, pollen grains of the same flowers, same flower reaches the stigma. Cross-pollination, in cross-pollination, the pollen grain of another flower either on the same or the other plant reaches the stigma. No agents are required. 
Agents like wind, water, animals, insects are required. Occurs only in bisexual flowers. Occurs in unisexual flowers under monoecious or dioecious conditions. Thirteenth one. Name the parts of the following plants from which they propagate negative vegetatively. Potato, bryophyllum. Potato. It has a number of small depressions on its surface. These are known as eyes. Potato plants sprout through these eyes. Bryophyllum. On the edge of the leaves of bryophyllum, the plant bryophyllum reproduces. Fourteenth one. What am I? I am formed by the fusion of male and female parts. Zygote is formed by the fusion of male and female parts. I am a part of the plant that can travel a long distance and grow to a baby plant. That is nothing but a seed. Fifteenth one. Fill in the blanks. First one. Flowers containing both male and female parts are called bisexual flowers. Pollen green from anther of one flower that reaches the stigma of another flower is called cross pollination from leaves part of bryophyllum new plants are produced agents of pollination are air water animals insects humans okay next match the following pollen grain and the ovule ovary reproduction through ice potato reproduction through leaves bryophyllum next 17th one observe the following figures what difference do you observe write in your notebook you can observe the figures figure a and figure b is given figure a the figure represents a self pollination taking place okay here only one it is there one flower so self pollination takes place in figure b represents cross pollination okay cross pollination is taking because you are having two flowers here and pollination is cross pollination pollen grain from one from anther of one flower that reaches the stigma of another flower is called cross pollination okay by this we complete the question answers of this lesson in next video we'll be seeing the next lesson question answers till then bye kids have a nice day